lifeline. Now this is different than your support network. Your support network are the, the group of people that understand what you're doing and will pat you on the back and say, okay, good job, rah, rah. But lifeline is a little bit different. And I'd like to, you to look at the people you know, and they don't necessarily have to be your closest friends or associates or your family. Two people in your life that you can go to when you're stuck or that you can go to with questions and you can ask them for their feedback not having them tell you what to do but having them feedback to you what they are seeing in terms of your journey you go to them explain what you're doing ask them very specifically to help you in certain areas now why do I say two now it can be more but it might be easier to start with two people because you might have one person that can really help you with the the mind area as you're going through this whole idea of reframing your mind and changing your beliefs perhaps there is someone who can help you in that and perhaps there is someone who can help you on the spiritual end someone who is more advanced shall we say in terms of investigating their own spiritual path their own soul purpose Ask them to be your lifeline. Ask them for feedback in very specific areas at very specific times for 30 days. Now this doesn't have to be every day, but set up a plan. Maybe it's twice a week, twice a week with each of the individuals. And like I say, very specific things. Perhaps you want to say to, the, to them, I'm going to read chapter 5 in this book between now and next Tuesday, and then I'm going to discuss it with you. Okay, great. So that is your challenge, and that is what you're asking them to help you with. So you do that, and, and, and they'll call you on that. Did you read the chapter? You didn't. Why not? And as you start to give the excuses, I want these to be people who say, uh-uh, I don't buy it. I don't buy your excuses. I want these to be people who will not let you get away with anything. Friends will. Friends will be supportive. Friends will understand the excuses, even if they seem valid. I want you to put yourself first in these areas for 30 days. And these two people in your lifeline are going to help you do that. Internet research. Now we talked about Google. I explained a little bit about how to Google Byron Katie's website. I want you to get online if you're not. If you don't have your own computer, look into getting one. Laptops are great. Now, I love Apple products. They are so user-friendly. They're a little bit more expensive, but they can't be beat as far as I'm concerned. It'll be your choice, though. Get yourself a computer. That's another challenge for you. For the next 30 days, look into the different kinds of laptops that you could own. Meanwhile, get your hands on a computer. Perhaps you have one at the house that you share with someone. Whatever the case is, get on the computer and start playing around. And don't just use it to check emails or send emails. And don't just use it to post pictures of your grandkids on Facebook. Do some research. Go to Google. Type in a word or a phrase or a question. And as I mentioned, everything will pop up a whole bunch of information. Look at the first five entries that pop up on the very first page and then click through. There's a little link. You just click it. Boom. It'll take you off somewhere and start to investigate whether it's to do with the mind, whether it's to do with meditation, whether it's to do with spirit, whether it's to do with a healthy recipe or a particular kind of yoga workout. I don't care what it is. Maybe it's how to make a dress. Just get used to being on the internet and doing some searches. YouTube is like TV on the internet. And it's the same thing. It's a big search engine. Google actually owns that too. But you can go to YouTube, Google it, and type in anything you want and all these videos are going to come up. And the videos will change in popularity depending on what's going on in the world. I want you to look at some of these videos. Maybe it's how to make a particular kind of meatloaf, okay? So you type that into Google, up come a bunch of videos of somebody showing you or giving their recipe. Maybe it's something to do with entertainment, a, a particular celebrity you like. Pop that up and here comes his or her music or TV shows or movie trailers, anything. Just play around with that. Give yourself time every day to get on the computer. And from there, branch out. But that's a start. Maybe you want to Google how to use Google. Maybe you want to Google how to use YouTube. Maybe you want to Google how to use the Internet. Doesn't matter. Get comfortable with technology. Talked about a computer. 
get yourself one, get yourself a smartphone. Now, I'm not talking about a cell phone, the kind that you might have that flips up and you can just use it in your car in emergencies in case the car breaks down. I'm actually talking about a smartphone. Hang on, I'm going to show you mine. Okay. This is my iPhone. Surprise, it's an Apple product. Anyway, this is not just a telephone, even though it's got the word phone in it. It is so much more. It's a camera, it's a computer, it's a recorder, it's a video, it's a, a, a weather bug. It has all kinds of things called apps. What are apps? Google them. Anyway, look into getting yourself this too. Now, what, I, why am I telling you to get a computer and get a smartphone? I'm not telling you this so I want you to spend all your money. I am telling you this because this kind of technology is not going away. And if you get comfortable using this kind of technology, you are going to be comfortable as things start to change rapidly. And they are changing rapidly. And, and it's a lot easier to pretend it's not there, to pretend it doesn't exist. But once you start understanding the basics, even when things change, you are still going to be more comfortable with that change than if you never tried anything. Also, these are so much fun. You can do almost anything on these. There's even a voice-activated recorder, so you can walk around talking into it. So perhaps you can do your, your Byron Katie work in here. Oh, a judgment's coming up. Click, press, record. Oh, okay, do 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 Is that true? Do I know that's true? Uh, what, how do I feel, what do I feel like when I, when I think that thought? Um, who would I be without that thought? Okay, turn it around. You could do all of that right in here. You can carry it in your purse, you can carry it in your pocket, throw it in your car. Voila. Okay. <laughs> end of the sales pitch. And end of this lesson. Lots more information for you to put in your toolbox. And again, I'm challenging you 30 days of the power hour. 20-minute workout on your body, 20-minute workout on your mind, 20-minute workout in your spiritual practice. Find two people to be on your lifeline. Get online, get on the internet and do some research and investigate getting your own computer and smartphone. I don't ask a lot of you, do I? I only ask this because I know you can do it. And I know how exciting it is once you start to do it. I also know that once you begin the process of doing for yourself, of giving to yourself, and being ready to receive from the universe, it will make the work you do for others feel a lot more alive and a lot more focused and a lot less stressful. Okay, do your homework, get your toolbox filled up, and we will be back with the final step on your path to getting to be that bold, brilliant, and bountiful dynamo that you came to this planet to be. I'm Laurie F. Dean, and we'll see you real soon. Mm -hmm.